welcome to my independent review of the Bosch Series 8 WAWH 8660GB washing machine. This is the Series 8 IDOS model. You can get something which looks very the same, but it's got the anti-stain feature instead of IDOS just here. Um, like I say, this is the IDOS model, which stands for Intelligent Dosing System. It's the main reason why I purchased this washing machine in particular, because I was intrigued to see how well this IDOS system works. Let me tell you about that before I show you anything else. IDOS basically means in the soap dispenser drawer here, instead of having the normal spaces where you put your washing powder, conditioner and um, pre-rinse drawer, you don't have that. You have two compartments that you fill with liquid detergent, one and a half litres of it, so quite, you know, pretty much a bottle will fit in there. And next door to that, you can pour in your conditioner. You then do have a space if you wanted to put, for example, um, anti-stain or whitening products in, um, or if you wanted to use perhaps a different type of detergent, sometimes when I wash my wool jumpers in here, I will not use the detergent that's in here and instead I will use the special detergent for wool. You can bypass it and pour it into that section. Bosch say that you can fill this and it will probably last about 20, 22 washers before you need to refill it. How it works is quite clever um, and you kind of have to trust that it says what it says it's going to do. Basically, if you was to select the Automatic 40 program or if you read the instructions, pretty much any of the programs, the washing machine will sense, first of all, how much is in there, so it will weigh the clothes. It will then detect what type of fabric it is, and without going into too much science, I've researched it, and apparently it does that by detecting how much water is absorbed. Cottons absorb more water than synthetics, so it can kind of intelligently figure out, based on detecting how much water it puts in and how much is um, removed when the clothes absorb it, um, what type of fabric you have put in there. Um, so based on that, it will then detect how dirty the clothes are. So those three things together, it uses to figure out how much detergent it should put in, how long it should wash for, how much it should spin out at the end, and how much conditioner it should use. So it's really clever, and you kind of just have to put things in there and let it get on with it and trust that it will work. I found that if you just do that, if you don't overthink it, it works. Um, and I'm really impressed. You can bypass, or not bypass as such, but you can sort of tell it to add more detergent or no detergent at all, or slightly less based on the average. And if you wanted to, you can hold down the button and then what will happen here, it says 50 mil for my conditioner. The average amount will be 50 milliliters it will apply to a wash. I can adjust it down, you know, by one millimeter increments and the IDOS dispensing drawer will draw out that exact amount Bosch make a big deal about how pinpoint accurate it is each time when it draws out the water. What I tend to do is look at the conditioner that you put in or the washing detergent you put in, look at the back of the bottle, see what it says for a wash load. This is a nine kilogram, uh, sorry, yeah, nine kg um, wash load, which is very large. It's one of the highest you can get. So look at the back of the bottle, nine kg, it normally saves 50 mil, set it to 50 mil, and then leave it. Let the washing machine do the rest. It's important you do that because if you get a um, like ultra concentrated conditioner, there's no point telling it to put 50 mil in when the back of the bottle only says put 20 in because even though this is intelligent and it will do the minimal amount to get the maximum results, you are gonna be wasting your conditioner then it will put far too much in when it actually doesn't need that much. So just be aware that you can do that. It doesn't make a big deal about that in the manual when you get it to set up the amounts. So just make sure you do that, otherwise you will find that you are wasting product or maybe not using enough product um, and you might not get the perfect results that you want. So that's the outside. 
When you open, interior light turns on, which is excellent. You can't really see that well. There you go, interior light. Um, like the tumble dryer, the drum is a bubble effect, which I suppose is supposed to be good at washing, but still being gentle. Um, if you put in, I've got here a mixed load of washing, so I'm just going to put in a mixed load. So I have cotton trousers, I have towels. Normally, I separate my towels and wash them separately, but for today, I'm just going to bump everything in. Now, I've selected the Automatic 40 program and it is telling me that six kilograms is the recommended amount that you should put in. So if you're using the Automatic, even though this can handle nine kilograms, you shouldn't really put nine kilograms in. You should let it do the small amount, as it says. Before I start this, I will show you the other programs. So this is the main screen of the washing machine. It matches the tumble dry, which I like, although unfortunately I don't have enough space in my kitchen to have them next door to each other. Here you have the dial with the on off button in the centre and the programmes around the edge. You have the display and you have touch sensitive controls around here, which we'll talk about shortly. So first of all, a quick view of the programmes. You have the Automatic 40 program, which is one that I actually use quite often. Obviously the wash temperature is set at 40 and you can't change that. You can also, you can't change the spin speed either. It automatically does everything for you. You can also not use the two extra programs called Speed Perfect and Eco Perfect. I'll talk about that later. Basically Automatic really does do everything for you. Okay, You can't touch anything on there. Cottons is the next program which I use apart all the time apart from Automatic. Here you have 60 degrees, 2 hours 20 minutes. Remember, this is always an estimate time. The washing machine detects how dirty the clothes are and it will adjust this accordingly. So take that with a pinch of salt. It tends to be less than what it says. Occasionally it's been a little bit longer, but normally it's less. On the display, I like these two bits here. It tells you how much water you're using and how much electricity you're using. Okay, so out of five, this is a four. So this is quite high because it's a 60 degree. If I was to turn the temperature down to 40, you can see straight away that actually you've saved power there. Still using the same amount of water, but you've saved power. So it's nice to see that actually reducing the temperature does have a direct impact on how much power you are using if you are conscious of power consumption. Continuing, you have Eco Cotton's Eco Logical. This is a long wash, but basically, even though it says 60, it's going to ignore that and wash it at 40. Um, it's a weird wash system. This is how it works. Easy Care is for your synthetic fibres. Mix Load is if you are washing synthetics and cottons together. Delicates and Silk, that's self-explanatory. And Wool also known as the hand wash setting. I've used this quite a few times for washing my wool jumpers and never had an issue. I accidentally did wash a wool jumper using the delicates and silk setting and it shrunk it. Um, so do be careful, just because it says delicate and you have a delicate wool jumper, make sure you select the right program. Wool, it works perfectly. Rinse, spin and drain, that's if you just wanted to obviously empty and spin and the washing machine. Going back, you've got duvet. This will wash a duvet. It won't fit probably anything bigger than a double duvet. I've got Super King and it won't fit in at all. It's, it's definitely too um, small. Even nine kilograms is too small for a Super King, but a double duvet would fit in here. Night wash is basically um, a washing where it's it's a little bit quieter. It doesn't move as much. It takes um, longer to wash, but it's quieter with the rotations. I don't use that feature at all. It's, this is a very quiet washing machine anyway. Sportswear is for your um, synthetic fibre sportswear. As you can see, I'll talk about this in a moment, but the IDOS detergent drawers are switched off and it won't let you use the detergent you have in here. Sportswear, it's expecting you to put into the um, washing machine dedicated sportswear detergent. 
Allergy Plus, that is just a wash program that uses additional water to make sure that it reduces the amount of allergens in your um, washing. Obviously making sure it's rinsing out all of the detergent, the detergent as much as it possibly can. Super Quick 15, this washing machine apparently can wash a full load in 15 minutes uh, at 30 uh, degrees. You can make it 40 and it takes 20 minutes. Um, I have used this and it has worked. You certainly couldn't wash a large amount. As you can see, it recommends 2 kg only. Um, but if you're in a hurry, you can you know, use this and wash and it, it does work. And then finally you have drum clean. So obviously empty machine, this is a 90 degree, put your washing machine um, cleaning product in there and let it get on with it. Just gonna go back to the cottons program and show you the main screen here. So cottons, two hours, 20 minutes. If you were in a hurry, you could select speed perfect. Notice that the amount of power and the water has jumped up significantly but it says it will do it in an hour. Speed Perfect is Bosch's um, speed pro, um, program. It will, you can basically apply it to many of the programs on the dial and they say that you will get outstanding results in less time, but at the cost of more power and more water. If, however, you've got time to spare, you can use Eco Perfect. That takes a lot longer even though it says 60 here, it's going to wash it at 40. It's going to use a lot less water and a lot less power. So if you have the time to spare, Eco Perfect will give you perfect results in a lot longer compared to Speed Perfect, which gives you perfect results in a lot less. Or you don't have any and just use the normal built-in program. Temperature, you can adjust to cold water all the way up to 90 degrees, standard on most washing machines. Spin cycle 1400, that's the maximum that this washing machine can do and you can take it down in increments and have no spin whatsoever. This has a self timer, not like the dishwasher that I've got, it's the same as a tumble dryer, you can select one hour increments and if it's the same as a tumble dryer it probably goes all the way up to 24 hours, yes it does. At the top you've got pre-wash, so you can obviously pre-wash your clothes and then go on with the main program. Aqua Plus, you may see that the water's increased there, Aqua Plus is basically extra rinse at the end. This washing machine has got remote start. You have an app on your phone or iPad that allows you to see what this washing machine is doing as it's washing. If you switch remote start on, and you must remember to do that, you can actually start and stop the washing machine from your phone or iPad anywhere in the world. So you may want to start it when you get to work because you've forgotten to put the timer on um, and come home to clean clothes or whatever. I don't really use the remote start feature at all. It is potentially useful. If you don't switch it on, because this is Wi-Fi connected, you can still see what the washing machine is doing even though you haven't got remote start on. Okay, so that is the front of the washing machine. Um, this is the IDOS again, which I've told you about. Here it's, I keep it on, minim, on the uh, medium setting, but you can increase it, switch it off completely if you want to put different detergent in or switch it on, however you go. I'm going to select automatic. I'm going to press go and I'm going to let it get on with it. The door is locked and what will happen? This has two fills. At the moment, the washing machine is filling with water, but it is filling at the back. So you can't actually see the water going in. When the detergent or the conditioner is dispensed, it actually comes down the front of the machine and you can see the detergent going into the machine. What's happening now, because this is automatic, is the machine is filling with water, it's making sure that the clothes are saturated, and it's detecting what type of fabric you have placed in, um, and also how much it weighs. Once it's done all that, it will then put the detergent in and get on with washing. As you can see, automatic programs are one hour, 10 minutes. 
That will adjust as it detects how dirty the clothes are. And basically I'm now going to leave it to get on with it. And we will come back at the end and you can see the end results. It's very quiet. Basically the only noise it makes is the noise of the clothes splashing around inside. The actual motor is silent. Even when it spins, there's not very much vibration at all. This is a very quiet machine. That's why I don't use the night wash program because I don't think you need to. It works perfectly well without it. So the wash cycle is complete. I've actually had a notification on my watch because it's connected via Home Connect. So it's told me that it's finished. Um, and that's it complete. So it's spun, I'm assuming at its fastest rate, although it doesn't actually tell you what it's spinning at. Um, but everything is certainly clean. Everything smells fresh. Um, and now it's just ready to go into the tumble dryer. So. That is my review of the Bosch Series 8 IDOS washing machine. Um, it's slightly pricey to purchase, but I th so think it's worth it. The build quality is great. The IDOS system is fantastic. That is certainly the best selling feature. It's got a good range of programs. Um, you can customize it um, using the Eco Perfect or the Speed Perfect. Um, the Home Connect is a nice feature to have although like I said I don't use it very often. Um, this washing machine has given me pretty much consistent good wash results. I have no quibbles with it. Um, I can't think of anything that I dislike about this washing machine. Um, there are probably no cons to it. Um, I do think it's very good and I would if you are considering purchasing the IDOS compared to the steam remover, I'll probably say go for the IDOS version. So, hope you enjoy my review. If you have any comments at all, please feel free to put them at the bottom and I can answer them if you have any questions. Other than that, please check out my other reviews and hope for, to see you again.